Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Green Lamb, and this is my April favorite. Sorry I couldn't post this yesterday, I just wasn't feeling very well, and I didn't feel well enough to get up in front of the camera and talk, so I just decided to put it up today. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind, I'm sorry about that. But if I'm looking down or over, I'm looking at my agenda, where I have everything on my favorites written down so I don't forget. And yes, yeah, so we're going to start off first with lipstick, and some of these might be repeats if you're from my old channel coming over here. Um, but I'm just going to kind of start fresh. So if I haven't mentioned, I haven't mentioned any of these products yet on this channel. So next month they'll be different and I might not say the same things. But you might have heard of some of these products if that ramble made sense. So lipstick, I have Max Love Lorn. And it's this really nice pink color. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today. And I will just do a little swatch for you guys. It's this nice light pink. It's not too bright that it's like in your face. Um, I usually have layered it up so it's a little more pinker and it's not too light that it doesn't look like you're wearing anything It's I think it's like the perfect pink So yeah, and I don't have very much left of it So I'm gonna have to repurchase this one and it's been my favorite a lot of months Um, I got it last summer and I've been wearing it at least I wear it about 15 days of the month every month So I absolutely love this and definitely recommend this color for nail polish, I'm really loving Zoya's Odette, and I got this in my February Ipsy bag, I believe, and I hadn't used it yet because I kept saying I was going to paint my nails, but I kept running out of time. Because painting my nails takes a little bit of a time, so I like to have a friend over so I can, we can chat and paint our nails together. Um, I just took it off my nails because it was starting to chip, and I just wanted to change up the color because I'm off, like, for this week, and then I start summer school, which is only two nights a week, so I'll have more time to paint my nails and do that kind of stuff. But I was really loving this color. It applies a little darker than what it is in the bottle. Um, and it took me about two coats to get it just right, but one coat was okay for my cousin. Um, she just touched it up a little bit, but yeah, it doesn't need too much work to apply, and it's a really pretty purple color. So for skincare, I've been loving Dr. Brandt's Microderm Brazen Skin Exfoliant. I'm pretty sure I butchered that word, but this has been really good. Um, I really wanted a skin exfoliant this month. I said that to, I was talking to my mom earlier before my Ipsy bag came, and I'm really happy I got this. Um, it says to use one to two times a week, and I use it Monday and Thursday nights. And it just makes my skin feel really clean and smooth, and it makes it feel really nice. And especially when applying makeup the next day, um, it definitely I can see a difference. Um, the makeup applies much smoother, and sometimes when you have kind of dry patches on your face and the powder can kind of clump, it doesn't the next day because the exfoliant helps with that. So um, definitely when I finish this, I'm going to look for kind of like a drugstore exfoliant because this one's really expensive um, because I want to add an exfoliant to my skincare routine. So my next favorite is Elizabeth Mott's Pop Goes a Shadow, and I also got this in this month's Ipsy bag. And this is in the color Champagne, and I usually only wear neutrals on my eyes, so I really appreciate getting another neutral in my bag. And this is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty goldy color, and it has little flecks of sparkle in it, but not too overwhelming. And I really love using this on my eyelids. I use this almost every day this month, and I absolutely love it. And now my hands are all sparkly because of that. So my next favorite is accessory, and it's my necklace, and it has a few smudges on it, but it is this. I hope you guys can see it. I got it engraved, and it was from the engraved store, and I really love it. It's a little bow, and yeah, I've been wearing it every day since I got it. I got it in March, but I am absolutely loving it. The clasp was a little difficult at first, and still kind of is, um, but I am really loving that. For TV shows, I have been loving over again, um, Beverly Hills 90210, and this is the first season, and this is my absolutely favorite show, um, love it, I started watching it in grade 7, and it took me to grade 10 because some of them weren't out on DVD, I just have the fondest memories of coming home after school, and I had my snack, and it was beautiful, and just some good years watching this show, I love it, and I'm watching it now, and I'm still loving it, I just started the second, well I haven't started the second season, but I'm on the second season now, and it's just been very nostalgic and very good. So other TV shows I've really been loving this month are Melissa and Joey, The Game, and The Game season finale. I did not know that was a season finale. I thought it was a preseason finale because last year it showed from March to April and then it showed back to July into I think October and it took like a few weeks sometimes in between there. Um, but it was a season eight's coming back next year and I'm super pumped to see it. Um, Resurrection is another show I've been loving, and the season finale is next, well, this Sunday, and I've just been loving it. The last episode was really crazy. And moving on to music, um, I have been loving, for the songs, individual songs, I've been loving Drunk in Love by Beyonce and Jay-Z, Change by Hey Ocean, Love Drunk by, I forget who, um, 
I forget what band that is, but I'll put it down the down bar of my song list. Um, yeah, three three X or three times by Chris Brown. I won't by Kobe Calais. Zipper by Jason Derulo and Cities by Nat and Alex Wolf. And for albums, I have been loving Louder by Leah Michelle. I got that. Um, I think uh, the day after Good, or the day after Easter Monday. And I've absolutely been loving it. It's been on repeat. Um, even though I listened to it late in the month, I'm loving that s soundtrack so much. And I've also re-listened to The 1975 by The 1975, and I'm loving it. I'm starting to get into the EPs now. And looking for, this is my little section I put in because after reflecting, it's good to look forward. So I'm looking forward to summer, um, my summer school classes, and just really working on my summer goals. I'm really pumped to work on them. And yeah, that has been my April favorites. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.